Sweden's transfer of ASC-890 airborne early warning and control aircraft to Ukraine marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict with Russia, offering Ukraine an unprecedented boost in aerial surveillance and battlefield coordination. Announced on May 29, 2024, by the Swedish Ministry of Defense as part of a 13.3 billion SEK, equivalent to 1.3 billion USD aid package, the 16th and largest to date, this donation includes Sweden's entire operational fleet of two ASC-890 aircraft. According to a March 21, 2025 report by Delphi, the transfer is progressing as planned with delivery tied to modifications ensuring compatibility with Ukraine's incoming F-16 fighter jets. This move not only underscores Sweden's deepening commitment to Ukraine's defense, but also reflects its strategic realignment following NATO accession in March 2024. As of March 2025, Ukrainian personnel are undergoing rigorous training in Sweden to operate and maintain these sophisticated systems signaling a smooth transition toward operational deployment. The ASC-890, built on the Saab 340 platform and equipped with the advanced AREI radar, promises to transform Ukraine's air defense capabilities, providing a critical edge in a war where airspace control remains fiercely contested. The ASC-890 is a product of Saab, a Swedish aerospace company renowned for its innovative defense solutions. Mounted atop the Saab 340 twin-engine turboprop, the Eerie radar, an active electronically scanned array, offers a detection range of up to 400 to 450 kilometers, capable of tracking aerial targets like aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and drones, as well as maritime objects such as ships and small vessels. Operating at altitudes around 6,000 meters, about 20,000 feet, it provides a 150-degree field of view on either side, though it has blind spots directly ahead and behind. Its ability to function in jamming environments and over rugged terrain makes it exceptionally versatile. Beyond detection, the ASC-890 serves as an airborne command and control hub, relaying real-time data via systems like Link-16 to fighter jets, ground-based defenses, and command centers. This enhances airspace management deconflicts friendly movements, and supports joint operations, including maritime surveillance for naval forces. For Ukraine, this translates into a flying radar that extends situational awareness far beyond the capabilities of its existing ground-based systems, covering over 500,000 square kilometers and peering deep into Russian-held territory. Sweden's military support to Ukraine has grown increasingly sophisticated since Russia's full-scale invasion began in February 2022, with total aid reaching 61.9 billion SEK, or 5.4 billion euros, by March 2025. Previous packages included CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, Archer self-propelled howitzers, RBS-70 and Iris-T air defense systems, and Stridsvan 1 and 22 tanks, a variant of the Leopard 2A5. The ASC-890 transfer, however, introduces a new layer of capability. Not just firepower, but the ability to see and coordinate across the battlefield. The aircraft's delivery aligns with the integration of F-16 jets donated by NATO allies like Denmark and the Netherlands, with Sweden ensuring compatibility through ongoing modifications. Ukrainian crews training in Sweden are mastering not only the aircraft's operation, but also its maintenance, ensuring self-sufficiency. While Sweden sacrifices its own AEW&C capacity temporarily, planning to replace the ASC-890s with Global Eye aircraft, this donation reflects a calculated investment in European security and Ukraine's survival. The absence of reported delays, despite earlier concerns over US-made components, highlights Sweden's reliability as a partner. The ASC-890's role in Ukraine will be transformative. It addresses a long-standing gap in Ukraine's air defense architecture, which has relied heavily on ground radars and NATO intelligence shared from beyond its borders. 
with a range that can detect threats up to 400 kilometers away. It offers early warning against Russian missiles and drones, which have relentlessly targeted Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. By linking directly with F-16s, the ASC-890 acts as a force multiplier, extending the jet's radar-limited reach and guiding them to engage targets efficiently. It can also coordinate with ground systems like HIMARS or air defenses firing AMRAMs and IRIS-T missiles, creating a more cohesive defense network. Strategically, its surveillance range, potentially reaching 300 to 400 kilometers into Russian-controlled areas, provides intelligence on enemy movements, missile launches, and Black Sea naval activity. This reduces Ukraine's dependence on NATO assets, which cannot operate over its airspace, granting greater operational autonomy. However, its value makes it a prime target for Russian long-range missiles, requiring Ukraine to deploy it cautiously, possibly from safer western regions or near NATO borders. Comparing the ASC-890 to similar aircraft operating in Ukraine reveals its unique contribution. Ukraine currently lacks dedicated AEW and C platforms, relying instead on Soviet-era systems like the An-30 for limited reconnaissance and NATO's E-3 Sentry AWACS, which patrol from Polish or Romanian airspace. The E-3, a Boeing-built aircraft with a rotating radar dome, offers a 360-degree view and a range exceeding 400 kilometers, surpassing the ASC-890's coverage in scope and endurance. However, it cannot enter Ukrainian airspace due to NATO's non-combatant stance, limiting its utility to intelligence sharing from afar. The ASC-890, by contrast, will operate directly under Ukrainian control, integrating seamlessly with its forces. Compared to Russia's Beriv A-50, which boasts a 650-kilometer range and advanced electronic warfare capabilities, the ASC-890 is smaller and less capable in raw power, but benefits from modern ESA technology and NATO interoperability. Ukraine's downing of two A-50s in early 2024 underscores their vulnerability a risk the ASC-890 also faces, but its smaller size and lower operating costs make it more practical for Ukraine's needs. The ASC-890's contribution to Ukraine is profound, potentially enabling the interception of up to 95% of aerial targets when paired with F-16s, a dramatic improvement over Ukraine's current capabilities, which have been strained by Russian saturation attacks. Its real-time coordination enhances not just air defense, but offensive operations, potentially guiding long-range strikes with systems like Storm Shadow missiles. This capability could disrupt Russian air operations, forcing them to adapt to a more vigilant Ukrainian defense. Beyond immediate tactical benefits, the ASC-890 elevates Ukraine's strategic posture, offering a clearer picture of the battle space and enabling preemptive responses to threats. Its maritime surveillance role could also prove vital in the Black Sea, where Ukraine has already sunk significant portions of Russia's fleet using drones and missiles. By tracking naval movements, the ASC-890 could guide future strikes further eroding Russia's regional dominance. Yet the aircraft's deployment introduces operational complexities. Its limited field of view requires careful flight planning to maximize coverage, and its turboprop design, slower than jet-powered AWACS, may limit its ability to evade advanced Russian fighters like the Su-35. Ukraine will need to pair it with robust escorts or, or operate it in low-risk zones balancing its utility against its survivability. Maintenance, too, poses a challenge. While Sweden is training Ukrainian crews, the ASC-890's specialized systems demand a steady supply chain, potentially straining Ukraine's logistics amid wartime conditions. Politically, the transfer signals Sweden's willingness to take risks, aligning with NATO's broader support for Ukraine while navigating domestic debates over its own defense readiness. Historically, AEW and C platforms have tipped the scales in modern conflicts. During the 1991 Gulf War, U.S. AWACS directed coalition air forces to devastating effect, 
a precedent Ukraine might emulate on a smaller scale. The ASC-890's arrival could similarly reshape the air war, giving Ukraine a tool to counter Russia's numerical advantage. Compared to NATO's distant E3 or Russia's lumbering A50, the ASC-890 offers a tailored, agile solution, less powerful but perfectly suited to Ukraine's urgent needs. Sweden's contribution, thus, is not just material but symbolic, cementing its role as a steadfast ally and amplifying Ukraine's resilience in a grinding war of attrition. As the conflict evolves, the ASC-890 could prove a linchpin in Ukraine's quest for airspace sovereignty and territorial integrity.